What's up everybody? Welcome to Dice House for another Assassin's Creed 3 commentary. Uh, in this video here we're going to continue our full synchronization playthrough run of Assassin's Creed 3. Um, not doing any of the side missions just yet, um, but if you guys would like to see me do some of the side missions, if you got any specific ones you would like to see me do uh, for full synchronization on those, feel free to leave a comment in this um, below and I will uh, try and get a video out for you guys to do that. Um, also, I'll do one for any other challenges to you guys maybe you having trouble Johnson with. Is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Only to hatch the new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <laughs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Radun Hagedum! Radun Hagedum! Ganon Dokong, why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting? And we're going to skip ahead here um, to uh, the start of the mission. It'll lead you, tell you where you need to go. Okay, first objective, obviously, really cut and dry. You have to reach Johnson undetected. Um, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here, I want to show you the uh, best possible route to do that without being detected at all um you do run into a couple of guys on the way there um but it is not overly difficult to either avoid them or take care of them before you know they can raise the alarm against you um some interesting notes about william johnson though william johnson is an actual figure in um uh pre-revolutionary um folklore or history folklore <laughs> uh he um, actually really was, um, um, he was proclaimed by the um, British government as the actual, you know, superintendent of Indian affairs in the colonies. So he was like, you know, overall in charge of, you know, any negotiations with um, the Native Americans in, uh, you know, throughout the colonies, whichever, you know, tribes were, um, the uh, colonies were uh, dealing with, uh, William Johnson oversaw all of it. Um, at first, I mean, he did a lot for the Indians, um, it appears. Uh, granted, now, you know, he did, you know, pull in, you know, the Iroquois uh, into uh, the French French and uh, Indian War um, and got them involved in all that. But, you know, the French had their own uh, um, Native American uh, allies as well in there, so it's not really unheard of. But it was surprising that he did that. But uh, you know, he was, um, you know, I mean, he dealt with the Indians a lot. Um, and, of course, he appropriated a lot of land from them, um, a lot of which he used to uh, found um, Johnstown, uh, based, you know, named after himself, where he built Johnson Hall, which is where we're um, heading here to uh, deal with him. Uh, but, I mean, he... Did a lot of things. Um, one of the most notorious things he did was the uh, Tree of um, Fort Stanwick, where he basically went against um, instructions he got from the British government and pushed the boundary uh, of the land that they were going to take 400 miles to the west, um, and you know, allowing him and other land speculators to acquire a lot more land than was originally authorized. This trick, this part right here is tricky and annoying. I don't know why this log was acting this way, but every time I would try to jump up onto it, I would end up popping off of it. So I ended up panning the camera around the other way and uh, getting on there. So fortunately though, if you start to slide down, you know, Connor will catch himself. So that's a good thing. But yeah, the tree of Fort Sandwick, um, 
basically, I mean, it kind of screwed over <laughs> the uh, Native Americans at the time. Uh, basically stole land from them, which, you know, is a common thing that occurred uh, for many years um, prior to uh, this and, um, you know, even after, and, uh, far after um, the American Revolution took place. Uh, what before that, during the French and New War, um, William Johnson was actually involved in several battles. Um, the uh, along you know using you know uh, Native American warriors and uh, militia troops to uh, help um, capture uh, Fort Niagara. Uh, he was not actually actually he's uh, the a lot of you may be familiar with a uh, painting of a British general, um, General Wolfe. Um, it's actually called The Death of General Wolfe, you know, when he died. Um, Johnson is actually depicted in that pitch, in that painting, but he wasn't actually there. <laughs> um, you'll find that um, throughout history, a lot of that uh, happens because, uh, you know, people will just to uh, basically symbolize a certain event by having a lot of people there um, who were at events who actually weren't there. Um, that right guard, guard right there, um, that's the first one that uh, you, you can take care of and all that. Just uh, make sure that he's not going to spot you while you're trying to make your way around. There's a second one up ahead here. Um, he was easily dealt with. As you'll see here in a moment. I meant to push him over the ledge because it's it's a lot funner that way. But as soon as you take out that second guard here, this is the route you want to take. You want to come over here, come up on this tree right here, in order to get on the uh, uh, cliffs up ahead here. Now right here, you may want to take a wider berth around um, to where you need to go so these uh, soldiers right here don't spot you. Um, they did spot me and I um, was very nervous at this point. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I was able to be on the other side of the tree. I was able to blend in to the weeds there. And I was able to listen to some of the uh, discussion going on. We you just wait here long enough, and all those guys will stop looking for you. And once they start moving away, we move on over here, a little bit closer to Johnson Hall, and then you get a nice little cutscene. Peace, peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to Johnson Hall is actually still staying in this day. It was, um, and horses that we might a ourselves. national War historical site. We remember Stanwich. We yeah, remember you the moved public. the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. And now for the second optional objective, which you have to get over there and assassinate Johnson before any of the Native Americans are killed. Um, how much time you have for this, I'm not really sure. I was not willing to to risk finding out, so I ran over here and got him as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night? Hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects. 
Are the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. Should we know that um, actually history uh, states that Johnson did die at a uh, Indian conference at Johnson Hall um, in 1774. However, it does state that you know he died from uh, a seizure, an apparent stroke, um, and not you know assassination from uh, <laughs> someone in uh, white robes. Um, and this is the final objective right here, optional objective right here. You need to escape just by running over this cliff and diving into the water, which looks way too shallow to be diving into right there. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, that's going to be it right here for this video. Uh, as you'll see here in a moment, as soon as we get away, bam, there it is. Uh, all objectives completed. Uh, anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you liked it, uh, please do so by giving it a thumbs up. Um, if you uh, got anything, you know, questions or anything like that, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe. Until next time, you all take care. Bye.